Hello guys, welcome to JJK Masterclass. Guys, in today's video, we are going to learn about point groups and symmetry elements for the given molecules. And I assume that you have knowledge of uh, point groups and symmetry elements for the basic molecules so that we can focus on these molecules which are listed uh, mainly and frequently coming in the question papers. And this topic is not only important for MSc chemistry students, but also if you're preparing for CSIR NEET and GATE examination, you can find many questions on point group and symmetry elements. So let's begin. CNV point groups. So first we will see uh, four most frequent point groups uh, with, uh, where the all molecules fall into this category. Majority of the molecules you can say CNV, CNH, DND and DNH. So we'll first see what all symmetry elements are present into these point groups, then how to find out the point group for the respective molecule. So CNV, first of all, how many total list of symmetry element will be there that you can find out it is two and symmetry operation will be there if it is CNV point group. The general formula you can learn so that you can prepare the list of symmetry element that is E, CN1, CN2, CNN minus one and n sigma v. So where e is identity operation, c n is a rotational or axis of rotation and sigma v is the plane of symmetry which is vertical plane. So if you are aware of all these symmetry operations then you can go ahead with this video otherwise you can watch my first video on this symmetry operations and group theory where I have discussed all the symmetry operations in detail. Then you can apply it uh, taking one example Let's say C3V I have taken as an example, 2N symmetry operation, total 6 are there. You can apply this formula and find the total list of symmetry operations. Mostly in your question paper, it comes like uh, uh, find the point group of the respective molecule and uh, mention the list of symmetry operations. So first, uh, if you have confirmed that the respective molecule belongs to this point group, then you can write down the complete list of symmetry operations. Then CNH. CNH again, you have two N symmetry operations. How to find out it is NH, then it should have horizontal plane or molecular plane. If your molecule is having molecular plane, then the point group will be given CNH. The general formula, you can learn for it to write down the complete list of symmetry operations. You can see it has identity, rotational axis, it has horizontal plane along with that improper axis of rotation. There is a different formula for if your n order is even, n is a principal axis order or if it is odd. Then you can apply taking one example and apply the same list and you can find the total list of uh, symmetry operation for let's say C5H, it should be 10. Similarly, so 5H means it is odd number. Therefore, we have applied the formula SN2N minus 1. You can see here. If it is even number, then you are having SNN minus 1. So you can see C2H, total 4 symmetry operations will be there. We have E, we have C21, C22 we don't write because it is equivalent to identity. And since we have written, we will not write it again. C2H point group is having molecular plane, sigma H. That's why we call it C2H. And S2 operation, that is S21, S2 operation is actually along with the rotation and along with the reflection it is represented by i so improper axis rotation followed by reflection is actually inversion or center of symmetry both will give you the same result so here it is represented i dnh here you can find total symmetry elements for an operation and how to say that your molecule fall into d n point group you will have along with the principal axis of rotation perpendicular axis of rotation that is n perpendicular c2 axis so if your molecule is having n perpendicular c2 axis the point group will be given dn and when it is said it is h because it should have horizontal plane or molecular plane it will also have the vertical plane so basically you can find uh, the molecular plane in all the planar molecules the general formula you can note it down to write down the complete list of symmetry operations you can see here it has identity it has rotation so compared to previous two cn point group you have extra near perpendicular c2 that's why it fall the n you have sigma h that's why it is nh you have improper axis of rotation again for even and odd it is different n 
sigma v will be there. You can apply it by taking one example. Let's say d3h. 3 is the principal axis of rotation. 4 into 3 total 12 operations will be there. And you can find it is 12. DND operation, uh, symmetry point group, we will see again it has 4N and why we will say here D, it will not have molecular plane. So what operations will be there to have DN point group, again you should have perpendicular C2 and you have dihedral plane here. And the formula for improper axis is different as compared to the previous, it is NS2N. The general formula you can learn to write the complete list. Uh, here you can find the same list here instead. So sigma h uh, you can just remove from here. You won't be having it is only n sigma d and f to n till 2n minus 1. You can apply it to one example. Let's say d to d. Total 4n means total 8 operations should be there. And you can find the complete set of operations. Now we'll see one problem. So I am not... Talking about here basic molecule like water and ammonia, I assume that you have already done it uh, since your exams are very close. So we'll be talking about a few um, more molecules or complex molecules. We will start first with the benzene. Benzene total C6 are there and it is a symmetrical molecule. It's a planar molecule. And uh, to find out first step is the principal axis of rotation. How, what is the principal axis of rotation? Six atoms are there. If you rotate each atom six times, the first atom will come to the original position. So they basically, to get the indistinguishable mirror image, it is six times you have to rotate to get the same carbon on the same side. So the principal axis is C6 here. You found the order of axis is six. And then you have along with that perpendicular C2, you can see the molecule. If you consider uh, and divide the molecule from the center, it is passing through the two carbon atom, it, it looks the mirror image, right? It looks a mirror image. Similarly, you have two more perpendicular C2. Perpendicular C2 means per perpendicular to your principal axis. So three dimensionally, this is the principal axis. Uh, from the top, uh, you can see, and this is perpendicular axis. So you have perpendicular C2, therefore the point group should be D and point group because you have perpendicular C2. Similarly, three more perpendicular with respect to the plane where you have less number of atoms. Previously, you, it was passing through two carbon atom. Now it is passing through the two planes. So you have total six perpendicular axis. We have written the formula N perpendicular C2. N is six, so total six perpendicular C2 are there. And along with that, same we have the definition how to identify vertical plane and dihedral plane or how to distinguish these two. You can easily distinguish sigma v is passing through the more, most number of atoms and sigma d is, we call it, which is passing through the least number of atoms. So basically three perpendicular C2 which is passing through the plane, it is sigma d. Same way you are having sigma d and sigma v is the other same where you have perpendicular C2 passing through the atoms. So total 3 sigma V and 3 sigma D are there. Or you can also write N sigma V I have written there. N sigma V means 6 sigma V will be there. But in that if your N is even, half of the plane are vertical, other half will be dihedral. Both are right. The molecule is planar, therefore you have horizontal plane. And again, it has inversion also because if you go or inversion or center of symmetry, if you go from the center to the one side, it is meeting, let's say, this carbon. On the other side, same distance, it is again meeting the other carbon. So the same atom it is meeting similarly in all direction. Therefore, it possesses a center of symmetry. So we can say the molecule is having DN point group. And since it is H molecular plane, it will be DN H point group. You can apply the list of general formula here and find out since it is 6 and 4N symmetry, uh, symmetry operation will be there. So total 32 you can find here. So one point uh, you can note here as I have already come, covered this point. And another if your uh, N is odd then there won't be any sigma D. Then you will write only sigma V plane. Like if it is C5, D5 here, principal axis is C5. Then you can say 
uh, that it is having five sigma v like cyclopentadiene. B two H six. So you should know the shape of the molecule to find out the principal axis. So here you can see this uh, dot is the principal axis through the center. It is the C two axis of uh, principal axis which is passing through the center. After rotating two times, you will get the mirror image. And again, with respect to this principal axis, you have two perpendicular C two axis also. You can see it is dividing the molecule. and you can see it is a mirror image so basically total 3 c2 axis are there and since you are having perpendicular c2 the point group will be dn and then you have to find out whether it is dnh does your molecule is having more molecular plane you can notice here the horizontal plane is there which is perpendicular to the principal axis so your principal axis is passing through the center right and if you place a mirror here you will get the reflection on the other side so horizontal plane is always perpendicular to the principal axis while vertical plane consist of the principal axis so you can see here two uh, two uh, vertical planes are present and the point group will be d and h that is n is to d2h you can see the list uh, by having the same general formula now we will see ptcl4 which is a square planar molecule and uh, you can uh, see the structure of a four chlorine if you rotate it four times it will come to the original place so the principal axis will be c4 right and next is whether it is cn point group or dn point group then you can see does the molecule is having any plane of symmetry the horizontal plane Yes, the molecule is planar, so it has sigma h also. So therefore, it falls in the d n point group. If that is decided, once you set d n, it may be horizontal or it may be d n d or it may be d n h. So horizontal plane is there means it will be d n h point group. You found it is four, so d four h point group, and you can write the complete list. We'll go quickly because uh, we have to cover three more molecules here. Trans Ml four X two. You should know the st structure. And again, the chlorine, two chlorine along with the platinum will fall on the principal axis, and it will not reflect for the mirror image. Therefore, it will behave like the square planar four ammonia. Same like PtCl four. It will fall in the D four H point group because. the principal axis whatever atom falls it doesn't participate in the uh, mirror image with respect to cis you can see here i have taken another example first step is to find out the principal axis principal axis you can see i have taken uh, with this horizontal line which is c2 because here you can see twice if you rotate you will get the indistinguishable mirror image so it is a c2 principal axis now does your molecule having sigma h no it's not the planar molecule it's not symmetrical so you don't have sigma h do you have here perpendicular c2 no you don't have any perpendicular c2 also here because if you have any perpendicular to this you have two water molecule other side mirror image is having two chlorine so no perpendicular uh, no sigma h is there no perpendicular c2 so the point group for the following molecule should be c2 v because you have vertical plane here one consist of the c2 other also you can have sigma v which i have made here square so all these two water molecule two chlorine and one chromium falls on this plane therefore you have only two h2o left which falls as a mirror image c2 v point group staggered c2s6 so if you are aware of the staggered conformation you can draw and you can notice here three times if you rotate this you will get the original hydrogen on the same place so principal axis is c3 first step is find out the principal axis c3 is there the next step is is it dn or cn point group dn means you should have perpendicular c2 so find out does your molecule having perpendicular c2 Yes, your molecule is having perpendicular C two. You can see here uh, three perpendicular C two will be there. 
that you don't have to worry because we have the formula n perpendicular c2 so whatever principal axis is there same number of perpendicular c2 will be there this is a c2 principal axis which is passing through the two carbon so perpendicular c2 is there means the point group is dn and now whether it is horizontal do you have any molecular plane here no for a staggered conformation we don't have horizontal plane so the point group should be d n d and since n is 3 d 3 d point group right so you have sigma d operations here so it is really easy uh, if you go step by step first step is find the principal axis second step whether it is c n or d n point group with respect to perpendicular c2 and then the third step is find out whether your molecule has molecular plane or not these three steps and you are done with the point group and then you can apply the same general formula to find the complete set of operations so i hope uh, you have understood uh, how to find out the point group for the molecules and how to write down the complete set of operations all the best for exams see you in the next video